everybody, I'm Bryn Hutchison and uh, this is the first lesson in uh, a long series, I hope, of uh, lessons I'm going to be doing, uh, teaching guitar from the very beginning. So this is, uh, you've got yourself a, a nice shiny new guitar, whether it's a, an electric or an acoustic or whatever, um, and you haven't got a clue what to do with it. So I'm going to take you through uh, from the very beginning, um, starting off with uh, the notes of the strings, um, explaining the frets, and uh, hopefully getting you playing a couple of chords uh, quite quickly. Okay, so if you look at your guitar, you can see uh, this one's an acoustic guitar, obviously. Uh, you have six strings on there, and it starts with a, a low E or a fat E, and it ends with a high E or a thin E or a top E or whatever. Um, and the strings get thinner as they go down. The first thing you need to do is learn the notes of these strings. Uh, so the first string is an E, the second string is an A, the third string is a D, Fourth string down is a G, fifth string down is a B, and the last one is E again, which is an octave of the first one. So E, octave lower, E. Now this is very important to know, mainly because this is how you, you, you know how to tune your guitar. It's one of these, or something like this, if you've bought a, uh, uh, like a starter kit or something like that, you may have one of these clip-on tuners. If not, you can get one of these. Uh, quite cheap, eBay or Amazon or, or you know, other, other sites are available or just go down to your local music store, they're not very expensive, this one was about £5 um, and that clips onto your headstock like that and it tells you whether you're in key or not you probably can't see that very well but if I play the E string then it tells me when it goes green that it's, it's in tune and it's an E okay? So a good way of remembering the notes of your strings is to make up a little rhyme that goes with each one. Um, one I like to use especially with uh, my younger students is elephants and donkeys grow big ears. So elephants and donkeys grow big ears. Now what I, I encourage uh, obviously my, my more adult students, um, my more mature students if you like, um, is to make up something that, that's going to help them remember. E A D G B E. Um, on your guitar, you'll, you'll notice there's dots or inlays, um, which help you, you know, know where you are on the fretboard. On my guitar, I have one here, which is my first one, and that's my third, that's my fifth, that's my seventh, that's my ninth. And then when you get to here, that's your twelfth, and that means you've covered all the notes within an octave. That's twelve notes. So that's twelve frets. So that's the twelfth fret. Okay. And when you push down a string. You can hear, as you move up the fretboard, that it is increasing in pitch as you move up, and as you move down, it goes the other way. And this is how we make music. So a good thing to do to start with is just to take your first finger, call this number one, this number two, this number three, this number four, and just press in between the frets. Don't press on them there or you get a nasty buzzing in between the frets and practice getting clear notes up and down the fretboard like this okay um, once you've got that and you can play around with all the strings I suggest you do it get a feel for it work your way up you'll, you'll find that the, the thinner strings are easier down. Once, you've, once you've experimented with that and you've got nice clean notes coming out, no buzz, then try to use your other fingers. So what I would do is I would start maybe on your third fret, take your first finger, press that down, and then take your second finger, put it on the fret next to it, take your third finger, put it on the fret next to it, and, your, and lastly your fourth finger. Once you can do that, work down the strings. So I've gone from the third fret, each consecutive uh, fret after that using the correct fingers, and I move down to the A string, do the same thing. Now this is a good exercise for you to motor skill uh, the, the fret distance to strengthen up the muscles in your hand. And what goes up? Ma. 
last come down. So at the moment I'm just using my thumb to pluck the note. I'm not using a plectrum at the moment. So we're just doing that. And as you get better at it, you can build up your speed. But make sure they're clean. The notes are clean. speed and it's comfortable for you. Now, you may have one of these, this is, a plectrum. This is actually a bass plectrum, I like to use bass plectrums because they're bigger and I've got short stubby fingers and I can hold them well. Um, little ones they tend to go flying out of my hand, but whatever suits you, but this is a plectrum. So again, now we're going to use this instead of our thumb and you're going to hold it between your thumb and finger, first finger on this hand, on your right hand. Strumming hand, if you're left handed, you could be the left hand. And we're going to pluck it, just pluck it down and do the same thing. You'll notice that the tone has changed. When you use your thumb, it's a warmer, it's a more of a dead sound. You use a pressure, it becomes quite bright. And once you become proficient at that, we're going to practice alternating the picking. What I mean by this is you're going to do the first note as a downstroke, next note as an upstroke, next note as a downstroke, next note as an upstroke, and so on.